today we're taking a look at how the inner roof rack system with a regular length 48 inch long crossbars fits on the 2019 Ford Fiesta. For your Ford Fiesta, if you want to carry around some other accessories, let's say you want to carry around a kayak or a roof box or even a roof mounted bike rack, what you first need is a roof rack system. So this is a system from Inno. It's definitely a solid choice if you want something that is sleek, has included locks, and is an aero design. Also, my personal favorite part is the accent end cap. So there's actually two options of Inno roof racks for your Ford Fiesta. One, it has a 48 inch long crossbar. This is ideal if you don't want anything sticking out too far past your vehicle. But if you want to fully maximize your space, you may want to check out the 51 inch long crossbars. Then you get a longer bar. The downside to that is you get longer overhang and you're going to have to be conscious of not hitting your head against it when you get into the car. Here we don't really have that much overhang. You can offset it to one side, which is what I did with our rear crossbar to show it off. But mainly you just have the end cap sticking out past the tower. That end cap can actually come off to give you access to your T-Track system. See here how we have that rubber seal? Well, you could just push down on the seal and now you can slide your T-Track mounted accessories through. That way you don't have to do any cutting or adjusting. You just slide them through. And once they're through, pop that end cap right back on. The towers have included locks, which surprisingly most brands don't have. Some of your more premium brands actually require that you buy locks separately to add on. Now the locks are all keyed alike, so you just need to use one key to access the whole system. With the end cap off, you can now access your roof rack. Now the T-Track mounted accessories, they do not have a locking end cap. So you may want to take a look at some accessories that have locks on them if you want full security. So this does have a custom fit kit, which is designed around the shape of your vehicle. The downside to this is it requires you put it in one spot on your car and you can't move them back and forth. So your crossbar spread is fixed at almost 27 inches center to center. Some accessories require a specific crossbar spread, especially roof boxes. So just double check yours if it will fit. So everything is going to be included with this kit. Make sure you get the right kit by using our fit guide here at eTrail.com because that will include the length of the crossbars, the towers, as well as the custom fit kit. You are going to have the tools included. You are going to have the keys included. All you need to bring to the table is your tape measure to get that process started. So the install process might look a little confusing at first because there's different like pad numbers, there's different hooks, there's different measurements depending on if it's a front or the rear crossbar. And that's what this video is for. The process is actually really simple as long as you know how to follow the different steps. So I already installed the rear crossbar. We are gonna install the front crossbar together and we are gonna start with how to get the towers onto the bar. So you need to get this plate into the crossbar. So the first thing is take off the end cap, then go over to where your tray is and slide that out. Once you slide that all the way out, you then get that plate and bring it up from the bottom and then slide that back through. Get your tower and then fit that over the thread on that plate. You're gonna have an included Allen key to tighten that down just a little bit. Next, you're gonna slide that tower out to the distance apart it needs to be. So double check the instructions for your specific vehicle. And then you're gonna line up your tower. There's a little notch on there that needs to fit the measurement you need to get. Once you've found that spot, tighten down that tower and then you're gonna put the appropriate foot pad. So for a front crossbar, it's gonna be 411. That's the number on there. So now you're just gonna tighten down your tower at that measurement you got, and then put the pad on the tower. This is 411, which matches the front, and then double check that the back has the correct pads. On your car, there's specific instructions for where you need to put that front crossbar. So measure from the door and then go out. Now for here, you do have an included sticker that you can put there just to save your spot. 
And now you're ready to put your crossbar on your roof. Fortunately, you have those rubber pads so you can put them there all by yourself. Plus, just make sure that you have it facing the right way. You want the taller portion facing front and the tapered end of the crossbar facing the back. Once you've lined up your tower right there for your spot, then just get your hook. You're gonna have a washer as well as a bolt. Thread that onto the tower and hands tighten it down. Your tool is gonna have a torque spec. So what that means is so that you don't over tighten it once you get enough tension there. It's gonna click. The final step is then to get your end cap. So these are locking end caps. They fit in onto the tower like that. Turn the key to lock it. Do that for all four towers, and then that's it. You're done with the install. You're ready to load up your roof rack and hit the road. And that was a look at the Inno roof rack system with the 48 inch long arrow bars, the through feet for naked roofs, as well as the custom fit kit for your 2019 Ford Fiesta sedan.